Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to, it's a bit of a different video. So I'm basically going to review um, something. So I bought this pre-made deck. Um, it um, It's called the Garuk deck, um, I'm pretty sure. Um, I bought it pre-built. Um, I looked through, it is better than what I expected. It's really, really cool. Um, I, I, so um, some of the cards I did put into my deck, so I had to like trade out some because um, my deck box is pretty small. But yeah, so th these three were the ones I traded out. This was just like a fancy land. This was the Planeswalker um, Garuk himself. And then this was a uh, spell. But then there's um, s some Titanic Growths, Garuk's Uprising, Ram Through. Then just some Forests, because you gotta have, a, gotta have good Forests, you know what I mean? And then we got... Um, Wild Pool Patrol. Pretty good cards. They're, they're, they are pretty strong. It's 4-2. Then we have 4-4 four, four for this worm. 2-1, but it gets a plus 1, plus 1. Then, this is a dinosaur that has plus 2, plus 2. Oh no, 2-2. Two, two. And then 3-3. Three, three. Um, these are the same copy. This is a 1-1, one, one, but it's a very good one. And then, uh, yeah, 1-1s, one, but you gotta have a couple 1-1s. One, and then, uh, yeah, it's it's a really, just just a really balanced, it's a good, good color. Then we got a couple, th this spell is pretty good. Which is called Primal Might. Um, Garuk's Warstead is also pretty good. And then Garuk's Harbinger is also a really good one. It's hexproof from the black color. So that's very cool. And it has a, has a pretty big effect. It has a box like this. Um, in editing, I'm not sure if I'll do this. Um, it depends on if I'm feeling lazy or not. But I will put a picture of what the box itself looked like. And then, um, it also came with a, uh, it came with a code card, which I'm planning on redeeming, so I'm not going to show you guys. But then it has, um, on, on your turn, then it has a couple different modes and how to play them here. Sorry the camera's out of focus, it's pretty low quality, um, camera, to be honest, it's just iPod. And then, this teaches you how to, like, attack and tap and stuff, it's really good. Then it has, like, one rule about, like, health. Then this shows you attacking down here, then you must tap your creatures to attack. Then on, you literally flip it like this, so it's like your opponent's attacking you. Then it's blocking. You choose whether or not to block. Only untapped creatures can block. And, that, and you don't also have to tap to block them. Then it has this, which just tells you, um, play a couple games before you open the pack included. I already opened the pack, include, um, the pack included. Um, it, it, it actually had a lot of cards, to be honest. Which was these. Uh, I'm not going to read them all out, because that would take a bit too long. But... Um, there, there were a couple pretty cool ones. Um, this one I actually replaced for one in my deck. Um, so, that, that one's not, um, that one's probably not there. So, then I also bought one of the, well, two of these to open up for you guys. So, here's what the outer box looked like. Um, I ended up just wanting to see if it was, like, two booster packs or it was just, like, a bundle of cards. And it was a bundle of cards like this. I did not open this plastic at all. I have no idea what cards are in here. It should all be blue and green, because that's what I paid for, or just neutral. Um, so, th that's the- I just wanted to see this, so I only saw this. Oh, that's pretty good. And then, um, so yeah, I only saw this. I ha didn't even open up this. This is a completely separate pack, so about 70 cards to open. So, let's get into this. Also, um, I do use blue and green, so that's why I buy blue so many blue and green ones. Alright, so first we just have um, Study Up for the story of Strixhaven, and then on your turn, it's like a slightly less bad, um, worse version of the card over there. <laughs> we got Accomplished Alchemist. That, oh, actually, wait. Uh, ooh, all right, that, that shows all like the rares at the end. Sorry about that. So Introduction to Prophecy. That's an interesting one. It's neutral. Pretty good. Quandrix Pledge Mage. That's pretty decent. <gasps> Quandrix Campus. I wanted this. <laughs> I, I I have the Japanese one of these. I opened it in one of my previous videos. <laughs> and I wanted the English. Um, target creature gets minus four one. Ooh, that's pretty good. That arcane subtraction, that's a good one. Um Transformation, solve the equation. Biomass assistant. Flying when it enters the battlefield put one target Ooh. Okay, and it costs four, alright. Another ple Pledge Mave, Karak Wrangler, Needlethorn Drake, Flying and Death Touch. Ooh, it's a 1-1, but that's pretty good. 
Quadric's Apprentice. Oh, the, I, ooh, I was actually told that I'd have a higher chance of getting that one. I'm going to set that aside. Curate. Uh, look at the top two cards. Oh, that's pretty good. Field Trip. Then we got Secured Colony. Um, Eureka Moment. Draw two cards. You can put the land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Ooh. And then this is called Kelpie Guide. Um, if I tap this, untap another target permanent you control. Then tap target permanent. Um, activate only if you control eight or more lands. Ooh, that's pretty good. Another Quandrix Campus. All right, nice. I actually have this one. Um, I'm pretty sure I have the hollow one, but it's Zemon Quandrix Prodigy. Vortex Runner. Quandrix Cultivator. Ooh. Enters the battlefield. I can search my life. Ooh. That, that, um, I might add that to my deck, actually. <laughs> Big play, target, ooh, ingredients reach, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it, too, dang. Bookworm, when it enters the battlefield, you gain three life and draw a card. <laughs> if I put two of any type and then one green, put bookworm from your graveyard into your library, third from the top, and it has 7-7, seven, seven, Trample. When it enters the battlefield, I gain 3 life, and I get to draw a card. And then it costs 8 to summon. That's really, really good. Another Eureka moment, another field trip, um, another miracle transformation, Biomathetician. Um, this has something to do with fractals. I have this in my deck. It's pretty good. Serpentine Curve, also have that. It's another fractal summoning one. Um, Leyline Inclination. That's a, Oh, that's a fractal one. Put a green and blue fractal token, put X1 counters on it. X is the number of lands you control. Ooh, that's good. Then Master Simmer um, Symmetrist. Ah, uh, that's pretty cool. It has reach whenever you um, control creatures you control with power. Oh, wow, that's pretty good. But then it has Fractal Summoning, Square Up. That's a pretty funny one. Another Biomathetician, Leyline Invocation. Um, Master Symmetrist, and then Accomplished Alchemist. Add one mana of any color when it gets tapped, and then add X mana of one color. Wait, add X mana of any one color, where X is the amount of life you gained this turn. That is pretty good. Then it's a 2-5. Um, not gonna add that to my deck, but I'll, I'll add that to the pile of ones I might price. Oh, sorry about the camera shaking. Alright, now let me just open this next one up, so... It opened up on the top. Actually, no, it opened. It had like an opening up to the bottom for the cards. Oh, that's much easier. But then you could just that one stuck in the plastic there. And then just to make sure I got everything, let, let's just open it up like this. Insert you died meme. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, in real life, it's a it's a bit lighter, so there's nothing else. Let me just set that to the side. Now let's open this. So I will not spoil the last card this time, because that, sorry about that again. That was just an accident. Ooh, okay. Well, I'll just take the last card. It says, study up, same knockoff rule card. I got Needlethorn Drake, Quandrix Apprentice, Curate Symmetry Sage, Flying, and then whenever I crashed a copy, of an instant or sorcery spell target creature gets a base power of two and it's also a zero two reckless amplomancer double his power and toughness to end of turn that's pretty good solve the equation um quandrix pledge mage quandrix apprentice spined karak it's just uh three to cost has two attack four um uh, it's not the bet four health um uh, field trip miracle transformation decisive denial Choose one target creature you control, fights each target creature you don't control. Oh, fights target creature you don't control. Each deals damage equal to its power to one another. Counter target non-creature spell, unless its controller pays three. That's actually really good. Um, I'll set that to ones I might look up, um, which is down there. Curate, Scared Colony, has reach, and when it enters the, um, when it gets plus two, plus two, as well, it gets plus two, plus two, as long as I have eight or more lands. Emergency sequence. Um, that has that. That's a fractal mechanic. Spined Karak, Ether Helix. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. Um, return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Ooh. 
Introduction to Annihilation. Exile target non-land permanent. Its controller draws a card. Field trip. Eureka moment. Vortex runner. Bookworm. Another one I'm going to add. <laughs> Arcane subtraction. That's another good one. Ether helix. Quandrix campus. Let me just... Sorry about that. A couple cards fell. I'm just going to try to cover them. All right. And then Quandrix campus. I'll set that there. Biomathetician. Nice. Excavated wall. It's a defender. I get to mill a card, put the top card of my library onto my graveyard. And it costs um, one to summon, but four attack. It's pretty good, but not as good as the um, ether turtle that I got from a couple videos ago. Square up. Serpentine curve. All right. I'm just going to cover this one up. Um, so... Um, I'm just going to say this right here, um, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button because I want more subscribers and it would make me happy. I also have a Discord server and the link should be below if I did things right. So I will, um, and then uh, now it's time to continue. So Serpentine Curve, Dec Decusive Denial, That's, I, I actually like that a lot. Leyline Invocation, Master Symmetrist, Charge Through, oh that's a good one. Target creature gains trample till end of turn and draw a card. Biomathetician, and then double major. Copy target creature spell you control, except if it um, except it isn't legendary. If the spell is legendary, a copy of a creature spell becomes a token. And I'll put that to my pile of looking it up. So I will see you in the pricing area. It might be in a separate video. Um, I'm most likely going to put it in the same one. So, um, I only got four to price, so I'll see you, yeah, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll just include it in this video, I got, a, I got a lot less to price, and then my binder, I don't think I'll, uh, it normally takes up way too much time, I don't think I'll put one, um, in, so, the, um, I got my cards I'm gonna price, and I'm just gonna look them up, so we'll see you in a second for, for you, like, eight minutes for me. Alright, so here's the printing, there is market price, 188. Oh no, 148. Then um, 65 cents for its buy list market price. Then listed median price, and that is for this card here. It's honestly not as good as what I thought. Um, it's the this card. It's it's okay to be honest, and it does. It just looks a bit too finicky for my taste. Oh, sorry about that. My car, my my cat over here is just playing with my cards. I also entered the code, so um, they, they are pretty cool actually, but. <laughs> All right, sorry about my cat. All right, well, let me just price the um, other one. So, BRB. All right, um, I am back, and my cat is still there. She's just being weird. <laughs> so, let's see. Let's scroll down. Market price, 30. Buy list market's 9 cents. The median's 50 cents. That, wait, so, oh, there it is. There it is. That, that is just, you. <laughs> I knew that card wasn't too good. It looks decent, to be honest, though. It just It's just very finicky. Maybe a bit too finicky to be added for in my deck. But anyways, again, consider subscribing, liking. It would Please, please subscribe. <laughs> it would be very helpful. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.